After Widow's Peak was received as successfully as it was, for an indie film anyway, I guess John Irvin decided to go back to the well, in more ways than one. A Month by the Lake is another British comedy, once again set in between the two world wars. And while Widow's Peak starred Natasha Richardson, A Month by the Lake stars her mother, Vanessa Redgrave. John Irvin also got Uma Thurman and Edward Fox back from their work on his Robin Hood film. Which is a rare thing, because John Irvin doesn't usually work with people twice. In any case, though, A Month by the Lake is a truly British film. So, of course, it's actually set in an Italian villa. A middle-aged British woman named Miss Bentley is a frequent visitor of Lake Como, so much that it feels like home to her. On one such visit, she encounters the retired Major Wilshaw. Wilshaw is the essence of the stiff upper lip, stuffy old English gentleman, and he rightly becomes the butt of a lot of jokes in the movie. The third lead is an American heiress, Miss Beaumont, who causes endless mischief out of sheer boredom. One such mischief is her outrageous flirtations with the old major, who <laughs> sadly believes that she's actually interested in him. And so we get another take on the classic story of a love triangle on holiday. As you can tell, it makes for a very silly movie with a plot that you've already seen play out in all the possible ways that a love triangle could play out, or most of them anyway. But just because it's old material doesn't mean it's all bad, right? Well, the tone doesn't really help, at least in my case. It's incredibly lighthearted and silly. The Major spends much of the movie being made to look like a complete fool. Miss Beaumont flirts and giggles and mocks everyone around her, while Miss Bentley is so whimsical and at home with this place that it takes a lot for her to actually be serious. The problem is when things happen that just don't seem consistent with the silly tone. In one part of the movie, a handsome young Italian tries to seduce Miss Bentley and even commits, well, a sexual assault. I mean, I get that Pepe Le Pew is a thing, but even as a teenager watching this movie, I thought it was really weird how they just shrug it off like it's nothing. Miss Bentley even sticks around and takes his picture while he poses for her camera, after she had to force him to stop kissing her. That's not an insult to Vanessa Redgrave, I should say. She, the actress, is easily the best part of this movie. Miss Bentley is a very relaxed woman who doesn't take life seriously at all, but she does develop feelings for the Major. And having to watch him make an ass of himself chasing Miss Beaumont, it really reveals a subtle tint of loneliness underneath her good nature. As I've said before, the Major is a fool and made to look like one, but kudos to Edward Fox for giving it his all. He takes this character and makes it his own completely. He's grouchy when things don't go his way, he's head over heels in love, but no matter what, there's always a strange veneer of high class and respectability to him. He also shows that he's got his fun side when he does a magic show for the people at the villa. Sadly though, the movie's brought down by Uma Thurman's portrayal of Miss Beaumont. I get that this is a silly romp of a film, but Uma Thurman's acting is way too over the top, even for this movie. When she flirts with the Major, it's supposed to convince him that she has a thing for him, but I could not take it seriously at all. Only an idiot could surely believe her. But then again, maybe that was the point they were trying to carry across. All in all, A Month by the Lake is... It's a really silly movie, really lighthearted. If that's what you like, you're gonna love it. I personally... I don't know, I've seen better John Irvin films. And apparently so did he, because it really seems to me that making this movie really got the whimsy out of his system for a while, because the next film he made was entirely different. <laughs>